Welcome to another podcast of the current situation at Manchester United. In this video podcast, I'll be talking about um, legend Peter Schmeichel has actually commented on our draw against Bedford yesterday. And he's actually criticized a certain player, which I'm going to get into in a few minutes. And I'm going to talk about um, Eric Ten Hag's verdict or commentary on whether Anthony Marcel will, will be playing for Manchester United again. Now, first with um, the game yesterday with this Peter Schmeichel commentary, criticism. Why did I say in my preview? I said in my preview that I wanted Juan Bissaka, if he was going to start or actually play, to actually play as a right back. Because I believe that was the right position for him to play. Not, on a le- not as a left back. And I wasn't surprised to see him playing as left back. I knew that everything I would have gone with him at left back. But that's not the best option for him. He's not adoptive as a left back. He doesn't have a left foot to begin with. Secondly, he's not flexible. He's not even good on the ball. We have seen how this guy was. I know that's like four years ago, but we have seen how this guy was in lock in 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 in, in lockdown man in the lockdown in the lockdown Premier League season against Aston Villa at home. This guy was trying to be Roberto Carlos chopping in on his right foot, and he almost chopped over. And he has not really, I mean, I'm pretty sure he has had a few touches of improvements, but it's not nothing expansive it's to, to, to actually say that he's improved his attacking prowess as a fullback. He's not a modern day fullback. It's me, he's not a modernized type of fullback, but the fact is that even if he's not, he should nowhere near be playing on the left back. And Peter Schmeichel, Criticize Juan Bissaka for the game for the goal that we, we conceded. Now I'll say this: maybe even if he played right back and he did that mistake, you know, it could have still happened. But there's different conspiracies. I didn't watch the game as I stated, so. But I'm not surprised when I see something like this, man. If you're in a nat- if you're in a position that is not natural to you, is me don't feel natural to it. You're not going. You're not going to feel adaptable to it, and that could have been the reason why he. Well, he was basically saying Peter Schmeichel was basically saying that he was jogging. You know, he was walking. He wasn't aggressive enough, um, to to shut down the play because he actually played the Tony onside when Tony collected the ball. So, he was basically saying, "Say, oh, he's the main culprit. He's the main reason. He's the main target, as to why you know." Tony was actually on side. Is me so but like I said man, I've said this already, man. He should not be playing left back, man. And that is one of the reasons why we go can't see that late goal in the late in the in the last uh, couple of seconds of the game. Thirty one shots from Bedford City yesterday, you know. Bedford City bunched thirty one shots on us. They're moving like Manchester United Club. We are Manchester United. And they shot 35, 31 times at us. They should have been the winners, not us. But we go draw the game away from home. And that is why I praise Onano in my match reaction, man. Some person may say, oh, I mean, Onano can't see that, did they? But you have to go give the man his, you have to give the man his praise, though. You could have given him a, a piece of cookie, you know. That could do, but his performance against Bedford yesterday was, was good enough. He made crucial. He made crucial save. Not crucial changes. He made crucial changes. Oh no, is that the manager? He made crucial uh, saves yesterday that on another day, oh no, could have or would have conceded. So let us be clear on that. He could have conceded them goals yesterday, but he kept us out and kept us in the game. Um. So yeah, I'm 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 not surprised where when I see you know Peter Schmeichel going after Omi in a constructive way, it's not destructive. Saying that he was at fault as to why the goal was scored, or as to why the on he was you know Tony was played on side for the goal to be set up and scored. Um, another thing going back, I'm going to Anthony Morris. Hey, comments down below in your comment section on one Bissaka's performance yesterday. I didn't watch the game, so I have to forgive a brother. I'm I'm going on here, say. Leave your comments below in the comment section. What's your thoughts on Peter Schmeichel's assessment on Wambi Saka yesterday on his display and performance? Now, 
talking about Anthony Marcel's future at Manchester United, which is slim to none, Anthony Marcel has missed 18 games so far this season by my recollection. Uh, by my recollection, but last time I checked, this guy has two goals in like how much appearances? Let me go check. This guy has two goals. Hold on. What came out of it? I don't even want to go back in. But basically, he has like two goals this season. That is a that is not a good return for a striker that was you know deemed. I mean, I'm t I've I've done a couple of videos already on Mar on Martial's time at Manchester United, man. I don't want to get into the gripes of it, but Anthony Martial by now should have been if it, based on the expectations. We had for Anthony Martial back in 2016, back in 2017, back even in 2018. If you were to tell me then that Anthony Martial would have been washed up, would have been as me dried up like a flaccid leaf in salt water, you know he would he he's, he's just void of injuries. He has not lived up to the expectation that we had for him in 2016. I would have looked at you different. I would have looked at you funny because I'm saying, no, Marcel is going to, you know, get the ball rolling. He's going to score goals. You know, he's going to rule players' feet. He's going to pass players. But I see something different in 2024. And that's the reality of it right now, that Marcel is no longer the player that he once was back in 2016, 27, 2018. Now, with, with that said, Marcel is still a very good player. Let me make that clear. Marcel is still a very good player. He's a better player than Hoyland. He's even our best attacker when fit. He's better than uh, Garnacho. Definitely better than Anthony. That's not even a question. He's better than uh, Rashford. He's better than Hoyland. He's our best attacker when fit. And he's our most intelligent attacker when fit. But because of his injuries over the years, it has caught up to him to the point where... He can't stay fit long. Uh, he can't even last. Uh, last, you know, his his fitness can last more than a Tyson fight, man. And that's the reality. And that's the reality we have to go deal with because there's a good chance he's not going to extend his contract for next season. And this was proposed to everything Hug as to whether Anthony Martial will play for Manchester United again. And he basically said that's dependent that's depending on him. You know, if he's fit then he can play, but we don't want to rush him. Listen me, so you know, he's been off for like two months and he says that he was gonna come back in early April, so it's almost early April because April starts tomorrow. But yeah, man, Marcel, despite even if he comes back and even if he gets a couple of games, man, Anthony Marcial's time at Manchester United, his days at Man United is numbered. He's no longer the same player that he was like four or five years back. And he's we haven't utilized this guy to the best of his capabilities. I mean, Marcel has gone through the rubs, man. I mean, Mourinho came in, snatched off his number and go give Zatan Ibrahimovic. Used them out wide. The, the biggest cliche for a manager to go use some, some winger, some, 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 uh, some, you know, some small forward on the wing. And go use a big man up top to, to accommodate the big man he wants to actually score goals. The biggest cliche, man. And you could say that has... I mean, Marcel was always a clinical finisher. Cold eyes finisher in front of goal. That's never questioned. But it's the fact that if, if, if he plays out wide, man, that is not his natural habitat as a player. He's a striker at trade and at birth. That he was, he's a striker. But when Mourinho go use him left left wing to accommodate Lukaku, Zatan, uh, who else him go accommodate a striker? Even Fellaini, which was not a bad touch. You know, him playing off of Fellaini, that wasn't a bad touch. Even Zatan him play off a few times. I can't remember the goal he scored against uh, with some, I believe it was in the, 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 the Cowboy Cup. And a long ball was played to Zatan. Him go head it into Marcel, fit and Marcel... You know, just finish it like that. So Martial can play for the striker, but again, man, we didn't utilize him to the base of our abilities. And it goes, I'm going to blame this club right now and the, and the management of this club right now. That not only Martial, but I'm basing this on Martial right now. Martial has not been used properly since his tenure. 
The only manager that used Martial properly was his first manager at Manchester United, Louis van Gaal, in a 2015-2016 season. This bridging was scored 17 goals. He was a bright uh, he was a bright prospect in the Premier League. He left Van Dyke. I think Van Dyke has post uh, post traumatic stress disorder um, traumas from from what Marshall did to him back here at Southampton. You see me, and that was a while back. And he plays for Liverpool now, Van Dyke. He was a very good player for us. And if you look at the, the players that were around him. They weren't very, very good players. They were washed up players. And he was like the bright spark of our attack. Yes, we had Depay, but Depay wasn't, you know, he wasn't pulling numbers, man. He wasn't doing what Depay, you know, he, 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 he wasn't playing to his best either. But it goes to show that so we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't know how to utilize the players when we have them. And yes, they want to buy Falco, you want to buy Di Maria, you want to buy Schweinsteiger, you want to buy these big player names, Alexis Sanchez, but you can't use them, man. You have money, but you don't even know what to do with your own money. You have too much money, your head going mad, you don't know what to do with it. You're going sick. You have your, knee, you have your, knees, in your, in a, you have your knees in a fetus position because they don't know what to do with the money. You're going psycho, man. You're making signings, yeah, you're making proper signings. You have Sancho, but you don't know how to utilize the players, the man. You don't have a system to accommodate them. You don't have a system to make them, you know, affluent, efficient, glow, grow, and go, and score goals. So, yeah, it's very sad that Marcel has come to this path of his career. And he's wasted, yes, he's wasted, at least six years at this club. Wasted six years at this club. The the last proper season for Martial was that post uh it was the 2019-2020 season. Yeah, that was the last proper season of Antonio. He scored 21 goals with Rashford in our competition. With Greenwood getting I think 18 or 19 or 20 as well. That was dude, that was a proper uh uh, uh that was a proper front three. Proper th I think that that front three had more goals than Liverpool's front three at the time. Yeah, so that wasn't no rinky ding type of front front three. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer had that front three. As much as whatever you want to say about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Rashford, um, before that injury, that he has been that he was lingering on for two years. Before that injury, he was he was he was balling. He was balling, balling, balling. Along with Marcel and Green and Mason Greenwood. Is me. But right now, they haven't been consistent, man. Bar Greenwood, uh, Rashford has been consistent. Martial has been consistent. He's been consistent with injuries and woes. He has been just just plagued with injuries. This means and 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 even if he comes back from the injury that he has right now, man, how how long is it going to take him for him for him to get used to, you know, getting match fit? How long is it going to take him, man? So yeah, it's it's very damning. It's very damning and it's very sad. I'm sad that Marcel has come this way, man. I mean, persons in 2016 saw this bridging to not only lead Manchester United's forward line, but France's forward line. Yeah, although he wasn't an he wasn't always a starter for France. Um. But you know, pers you know, we uh, the Deschamps know he was a, a force to reckon with. You have him off of the bench, he can get a goal. He can play off of the left, he can get a goal. He can link up play, he can get a goal. He, he's very intelligent, he can get a goal. But he has come to this that he doesn't even play for France now, man. The last time he, I think he's played for France was 2021 or 2022. And that's two years ago. So yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm. It's very, I'm, I'm, I'm not even disappointed in Marcel per se, but I'm just disappointed as how his, 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 his career has gone. Is has gone, man. Same with Paul Pogba. Same with Pogba. I don't know if it's a French thing. I don't. I doubt it's a, it's a French thing because both have different issues. Pogba was forced out of the club, and I believe he left the club anyway because he didn't. He has. He didn't win trophies. I mean, the last trophy he won. Was your league in twenty seventeen, man? That's like three years, if uh, uh, four years ago. If not five, five years ago before he left. So he had to leave. He had to leave. 
But with Martial, it's a different it's, it's a different scenario. Even when he comes back from that injury, how we know say Martial goes to be the same player? Percy goes to say, oh, you know, send him on loan, man. Send him on loan. He'll do good on loan. We send him to Sevilla. He didn't do well on Sevilla. You know, uh, Billy, you know, you know uh, Ma Ma I'm, I'm, hey, again, I'm not saying Martial is a bad player. But he's, he's our best attack on paper. What I'm saying is that if he used to come back, how you know say he's going to be effective? The same Martial, you know, uh, um, you know, not being fully washed up because he's been washed up. He's we just don't want we. I'm just scared that he might be fully washed up after he recovers from this injury, because just because you come back from an injury doesn't that, that doesn't mean that you're going to be the same player that you once were before the injury, before you had the injury, before the injury you had. That don't mean say you go be the same player. You look at Ronaldo at Barcelona. When he went to Inter Milan and had that infamous leg injury, you think he was the same player after them two years of, of rehabilitation? Nowhere near the same player. His legs was done. And he was still dribbling past players. But it wasn't at the intense rate as he was when he was at Inter Milan at Barcelona. It was a different player, but he was still effective and doing his thing at Real Madrid and for Brazil. So it may come to that. You know, God forbid, but to be realistic, man, Martial has that, I mean, I, I read Martial, I, I've, had, I've had my criticisms that Martial is not, okay, I've said that Martial does look like he's he's trying hard, he's he's not exerting much effort, and he's a miss, uh, uh, what, 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 what's the word, no, what, what's the word I'm missing right now? He's a mis, uh, misunderstood player. He's an introvert. So a person go look at him and like, oh, say, okay, this guy's not this is not he's not interested in playing. He's not passionate enough to exert the talent that he has. Is he is is me? So he's I mean it's a funny one, bro. The best I've said this before, and I'm I'm going to stick with it. I'm not gonna change. The best and I've said this for Paul Power two years ago. The best thing for him to is, is to leave Manchester United. Not because I want him to leave because he's trash, but it's the fact that I don't want him to, to linger here any longer to just diminish his career, man. Because he could have played for Barcelona. If Brathway could have played for Barcelona, this version could have played for Barcelona. Even if he's coming off of the bench, he could have played for Barcelona. At, at uh, Real Madrid, if they have that, uh, what's that striker's name, man? I can't remember his, 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 his striker's name. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I can't remember it right now. But if that good guy could play for Real Madrid, I know some of you guys are saying, okay, bro, Marcel could never play for Real Madrid. But he had a talent too. He has a talent too. He has a talent too. But it's unfortunate that his talent was not exercised, the juice, the squeezed as it should have been. And now we have a washed up, injury prone player on our books that's getting 290,000k per week. So the best option for us, Manchester United fan the club, is to let this go guy uh let this guy go for free. His contract is done in the summer anyway. So there is no need for um you know to three three sign him and no contract. It's just not. It doesn't make no sense. And again, I'm not saying this because I want the guy out, but it's for his own good and reputation. Let him go go in the French League and go make a name for himself, man. Like he did back in 2015 with Berbatov and those guys. He could play for Monaco. He could play for Montpellier. He could play for Marseille. He could play for Lyon. He could even play for PSG. He can play for PSG. And he could get probably like, what? 15 goals 20 goals if he not if he's not uh if he's not injured so it's not the fact that he's a trash player man but the fact that we haven't used him to the best is the reason why he's in this type of mess he's injured like most of the time and when he's on the football pitch he looks rusty man he rusty, he looks rusty like a nail in a wood he just looks rusty He's not the swift player he once was, man. But he can still score goals. Never get it twisted. He can still score goals. 
he can still score goals if he gets the amount of service if the player if the if the wingers were not selfish with Ganacho, Rashford trying to cut in and shoot and give Marcel the ball in the few games he was playing Marcel could have gotten a couple more goals man he could have gotten a more couple more uh, more goals man What's your thoughts on Anthony Marcel? Do you want him to stay? Although that's not going to make much of a say on whether he's going to stay because, you know, he's just going to leave. He's not going to stay. But let me know if you want him to stay. What's your thoughts on Marcel at Manchester United? It's unfortunate that he's just riddled with injuries. He gets out of his bed. He has an injury. He goes his face. He has an injury. He will take up. He has an injury. So he's just an injury type dude. But let me know your thoughts on this guy. And uh, of course, let me let me, let me um, go back to the the point I was making. With one one Mister shouldn't be playing as a left back, man. He should not be playing as a left back. He's no left back by no trick. He's no left back. Is me? He's no left back. He doesn't have the meat. He the meat. He doesn't have the feet to meet the requirements of a going up and forward left back. He doesn't have that. No, he has the physique, but he doesn't have the, 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 the talent in his foot, man. He doesn't have the footwork to do that. He doesn't have the footwork to do that, man. The best option is for him to go play either, either right back or right centre back. Because when he go get old, he's going to play centre back. He can't play right back if he can get washed up. He's not going to play right back when he go get washed up like he's in, his, he's in his late 20s, man. That's not the type of right back he is. He's not an attacking right back. He's no... He's he's like... I would say he's... Uh, well, they say that Kyle Walker is not an attacking right back. I would disagree. He is atta he's, at he's attacked, but he may not be as attacking as Trent Alexander-Arnold or Joe... Uh, uh, Joe, Can Joe Cancelo but one Misaka man he's no attacking right back man. This, there's this, there is a reason why this guy doesn't get picked for England man. this guy doesn't get picked for England man. Trippier is better than this guy when he's attacking and Trippier is like what 32, 33 so anyway he, doesn't, he, shouldn't be, he shouldn't be playing left back man these intricate things could have led up to us winning the game not saying it, it, it could have, or you know, it could still end up in a draw, even if he was starting right back. But you never know. But take the proactive approach and start this bridge at right back, man. I don't want to be seeing this guy at left back. And with Martial, man, like I said, man, it's a downright turn in for Martial, man, at Manchester United, man. I just wish that um, things would have, would have turned out better for Martial. There's another player just like Paul Pogba that we have wasted. We wasted Alexis Sanchez. We've wasted Romelu Lukaku. We didn't even use Lukaku. Um, I mean, no, we, we, we didn't use Lukaku to the best of his abilities because Mar Mourinho was trying to use Lukaku as a target man. He's no target man. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was trying to use a more fluid front three with Jesse Lingard, Marcel and Rashford. You know, you know, I mean, it had its moments, but anyway, leave your comments on the comment section. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, man, it's sad, it's, it's sad to see Marcel be like this, man. But let me know your, co your comments on the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell as well that you can be notified on each upload. Our brother's out.